March Madness has lived up to its name yet again, and now it's time for the Sweet 16. Here are my three best bets for potential upsets to move on to the lead eight. First up, I'm taking Duke Moneyline at plus 100. Yes, this game is essentially a toss up and not a true dog, but the Blue Devils are getting a point in this matchup and are considered dogs in my book. Coach K is back to the Sweet 16 for the 26th time in his incredible 42 year career. Ken Palm has these teams ranked fairly close, with the Red Raiders coming in at six overall and Blue Devils finishing ninth in his ratings. Texas Tech has a defensive advantage here as they finish the season with the number one ranked defensive efficiency. They're limiting opponents to 0.84 points per possession and cause teams to turn over the ball 24% of the time. The Red Raiders defense has allowed opposing teams to hit 37.8% of their shots, which ranks sixth in the nation. That being said, Duke has a size advantage over Texas Tech. Seven foot one Mark Williams and six foot 10 Paolo Benchero will have a significant advantage over the Red Raiders big men, and that could be a tipping point for Duke. The Blue Devils have the fourth ranked offensive efficiency in the nation, scoring 1.2 point points per possession. This will be a battle of strength versus strength in this matchup. If anything, this game will be another entertaining battle between two of the best teams in the nation. I'll take Duke at even money in a showdown that may come down to the final shot to determine the victor. For the next matchup, I'm taking the Houston Cougars money line against the Arizona Wildcats. Houston's efficiency numbers have them as a legitimate threat, even with the worst strength of schedule overall. Houston will be able to keep up in this game because Arizona has a problem with turnovers. They registered 64 turnovers over their last four games. Houston had a 19% defensive turnover rate this season and were third in the nation in steals. They will be ready to cause pressure against the Wildcats offense. There's also a decent height differential when it comes to this matchup. The main reason Arizona rebounds better than anyone in the country is due to their big men. They secured the, the, the most boards this season and are sixth in rebounding margin. That being said, TCU was able to keep up in the glass in their previous game with 48 boards and 20 offensive rebounds. With four days to prepare and the overall strength of Houston's defense, they could come into this game and rattle the Wildcats and pull off a victory. Temple will be an interesting factor in this game as Houston finished the season with a tempo ranked in the 300s while Arizona was eighth overall. This game will come down to which team can dictate their style more and I'll be siding with the Cougars on the money line at plus 108. And lastly, I'm taking the Cinderella story, Iowa State Cyclones to shut down the Miami Hurricanes and move on to the lead eight. Talk about a turnaround. Just last season, the Cyclones were a two win team and here they are a year later on a historic run to the Sweet 16. This Iowa State team has used defense to turn their fortunes around this season. They came into this tournament with a 10th ranked defensive efficiency and did so with a legitimate strength of schedule that ranks 17th overall. They held opponents to a 48% effective field goal percentage on defense this season and caused turnovers 22% of the time. They also defend the perimeter well, holding opponents to 29.6% from behind the arc. If there is one area of improvement for this team, it would be on the offensive side of the ball. The Cyclones own the 151st offensive efficiency ranking this season and shoot 43.9% from the field. They also turn the ball over 18% of the time. Miami is the opposite of Iowa State as they have the 17th ranked offensive efficiency, yet the 157th defensive efficiency this season. The Hurricanes have a 54% effective field goal percentage on both offense and defense for allowing opponents to hit 35.2% from the behind the arc. The key factor for me in this matchup comes down to a few key points. The Cyclones have a nine quad one wins compared to Miami's four. I'm also expecting a low scoring, slow tempo game with two teams that finish the season with sub 160 tempos. In a grinded out defensive battle, I'll take the team that has proven itself multiple times this season and take the value of with the Cyclones money line at plus 125. So those are my three underdogs for most likely causing an upset in the Sweet 16. Sign up for the FanDuel Sportsbook and place your March Madness bets today. Good luck.